Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make this stitch I'm calling the capital stitch. And the reason why I'm calling this the capital stitch is because it kind of reminds me of like the three pillars that you find at the in the front of the capitol building. So anyway, um, this stitch is really easy, a uh, nice mesh. You can do it in any with any size yarn and whatever size hook that the yarn you're using recommends. Uh, for sizing, uh, I used a bigger yarn. I used worst weight yarn, which is four ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and I used a five millimeter hook, which is a size eight hook in the US. The multiples of this stitch is eight. So you just chain sets of eight until you reach a desired width. Okay, I did my multiples of eight. Now I'm ready to begin row one. To begin row one, you want to double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, four, five. And in this fifth chain, you're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, double crochet in that first stitch. Um, then you want to double crochet in the next three stitches. So go ahead and yarn over and in the next three chains go ahead and put one double crochet. Now you have four double crochets in a row and then the beginning chain. Now you want to do chain three and you want to skip three. One, two, three. So in this fourth chain over you want to put your first double crochet of this set. Now you want to do a double crochet in the next four double crochets. You're going to have five double crochets in a row. So that's four and five. And I'm counting each of these five double crochets as a set. So after each set, you're going to chain three, you're going to skip three, and then the fourth you're going to start your next set of five double crochets. So that's one. And when you get to the end, it should be like this where you have five chains remaining on the end of your row where you're able to do your last five double crochets. And your fifth will be worked in the very last stitch of the row. And your row will look something like that. And that ends row one. Okay, for row two, and this is going to begin the repeat. Rows two and row three are going to be the repeats. So mark this uh, part on the video so that you remember what time it is so you can come back to it if you need to. So for row two, you're going to start off by chaining four and turning. Now you want to skip. This, this first chain four is going to count as double crochet chain one. So we're going to go ahead and skip this very first on uh, these, I should say the very first two. So if you just want to find the middle double crochet, so skip the one, two, and third into the third double crochet of the row, which is the middle double crochet of the set, you want to put a double crochet. Then you'll chain one, skip one, and then the last double crochet of this set of five here, you'll put a double crochet. And that ends that set. So we're going to chain three and move on over to our next set. And you'll be putting a double crochet in the first one. Then chain one, skip one. Double crochet in the middle one. Then chain one, skip one. And then double crochet in this last double crochet to end your set. So first off, double crochet in the first one, chain one, skip one double crocheting in the second, I mean the middle double crochet, chain one, then skip one and then double crochet in this last double crochet of the set. And then you'll chain three and move over to the next one. And you want to continue this down your row. And I'm going to do this last set here and it should be the same for you at the very end of your row. Sorry for the sound of the motorcycle. And you have your, your beginning, I guess it's chain three here at the very beginning. 
and you want to put a double crochet in the top of the chain three to end row two. Okay, for row three, which is the second row of the repeat, you'll chain three and turn. And now we're, we want to get our five double crochets in a row again like we had on our first row. So now we're going to be putting double crochets in the chain one spaces as well as a double crochet. So double crochet in the double crochet, double crochet in the chain one, double crochet in the double crochet until you've got all your five back again. At the beginning, the chain three will count as your first double crochet chain one. So your first stitch of the row is going to be in the chain one space. So go ahead and yarn over, go into that chain one space and do a double crochet. That'll be your second double crochet of the row. Now you'll do your double crochet in your double crochet, which will give you your third double crochet. And then in the chain one space, and then one in this last double crochet of the set. And that gives you five double crochets in a row, completing that set. Now when you complete your set, you definitely want to do your chain three as always, which will bring you over to your next set. Again, you'll double crochet in the very first double crochet. Then you'll double crochet in the chain one space. Double crochet in the middle double crochet here double crochet in the chain one space, and then double crochet in this last double crochet to get your five and complete your set. Now again you'll chain three and move over to your next set. And you'll repeat this for your row. When you get to the end, it'll be just like mine. You'll double crochet in the double crochet in the chain one space and then in the double crochet and then what you'll have left here on the end is your chain four or your chain three I should say. So what you'll do is you're you're going to go ahead and double crochet into this last um, chain twice to get your the five double crochets that you need. So in this last chain three, you'll put a double crochet in the space. I mean, you can try to fool with finding the actual stitch of the chain and putting one in the first chain and then the second chain, but it's better for me, I found, to just put it in the chain one, the whole chain space here and put your last two double crochets there. And then that will end row three and that'll end your repeat. Now you're going to be repeating row two which will be your row four. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Let me just fix my yarn real quick. Okay. Oh, by the way, this one on the end is a chain four that we worked our last two double crochets in. Okay, for row four, which is repeat of row two, we're going to do our chain four and then turn. And you're gonna wanna skip the first two double crochets and you'll be working right into this middle double crochet out of the five double crochets you have here. So you're going to skip one, two, and then this third stitch of the row, the third double crochet, you're going to put a double crochet. The chain four here will count as your first double crochet in chain one. So now that you've got your double crochet here in the middle, you will chain one, skip one, and then the last double crochet of the set, you will put a double crochet in it which will end that set. Then you'll chain three, move over to your next set. Again, working in the very first double crochet, like we did in row two, you'll put a double crochet in it, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the center of the five double crochets. Then chain one, skip one, and work double crochet in the last double crochet of the set. Then you'll chain three again, one, two and three. Move over to your next set and again double crochet in the first one, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the last. And when you get to the very end of your row, it's going to be very easy to end because it's easy enough to see these double crochets. So you're going to skip the last double crochet of your row and then you have the chain three 
here at the end. So your very last double crochet is going to be put in the top of the chain three. And then that's how you will end your row. So that's one, two, three, four. That was row four, which was the repeat of row two. So let me go ahead and repeat row three for you. So for row five, which is a repeat of row three, you want to chain three and turn. You're going to skip the first double crochet because this chain is going to count as that. And you're going to be working right into the chain one space. We're going to be trying to recreate, recreate our five double crochets in a row. So you're going to be putting a double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet, and then in the chain one space, and then to complete your set of five by double crocheting in the last double crochet. No chain one in between, just put one double crochet in the chain one space, one double crochet in the double crochet, one double crochet in the chain one space, and then one double crochet on the end here. And that'll complete your five. And then between each set, again, you chain three, and that'll bring you over to the next double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and all in those spaces until you get your five double crochets, just like we did before in row two. Double crochet in your double crochet, double crochet in the chain one space, and then double crochet in your last double crochet to finish the set. Then again, chain three. You're going to repeat this just like you did before. This is a very, very, very easy, simple repeat. And at the end of your row, after you have your double crochet and your double crochet, your chain one, and then your middle double crochet here. You still need two more double crochets and all you have is the chain four. So in that chain four, you're going to put two double crochets in that chain four space to end your row. And that'll be the, the end of your repeat. Now you're going to back up and repeat row two again. And it's going to be a repeat of rows two and three. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share and comment down below. It helps me out so much. Uh, I also I have a group on Facebook called Crochet for the Masses. Um, please check out uh, the links down below. It'll have a link to my Pinterest page, my Facebook page, all those places. I have communities where you can uh, join in on the fun. Also, if you're wondering what kind of hook that I'm using, this is a Furls crochet hook. They also have, uh, this is just a wooden hook that they came out with first. They've also come out with a Furl Streamline, which is, as you can see, a little longer. Both of these I ordered with an extended hook. This one just naturally comes longer, and this one has more detail. So it's up to you which one. You can find the links down below this video. So that's it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching.